know the location it is in the gnome starting zone uh, right here in New Tinkertown on Eastern Kingdoms in the world of Azeroth Welcome back to our Dungeons and Series here in World of Warcraft on our Restoration Shaman. Tonight we're going into Nomer. And we've already hit the queue, so we're going to wait for that queue to come up. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And check out our playlist for the other dungeons up to this level. We are level 26. Tonight we might be able to get to level 28 and get Chain Lightning. Um, Nomer main, if you need to know the location, it is in the Gnome starting zone. Uh, right here in New Tinkertown on Eastern Kingdoms in the world of Azeroth and so stay tuned we shouldn't be too much longer on the queue and we will be right with you after we get it alright we got the queue so let's uh, jump in here and get some healing done this dungeon is all about dispelling Doing a lot of purify spirit in here, uh, a lot of quick kills. Uh, hopefully, we get a good tank. So it looks like we have a monk, which can be okay if he knows how to do stagger. So we're gonna see how this is gonna go. He looks like he's moving pretty cool. Staggered over time, like a uh, damage over time spell near the end of the fights, really when most of the damage will come off a of stagger. And he's taking the shortcut, and this is what I was talking about about the shortcut. So, hit your parachute right before you hit the ground so you don't over pull. Do some quick healing. Always keep an eye on your tank. Do any dispels if you can. Pre-heal his stagger. Just seems like we're gonna do okay. Try to just do healing surges on him. Put your racial on him as well. Dispel if you can. If there is anything to dispel. Make sure you keep Riptide up. You can keep an eye on your other players, but they seem to be doing okay. We're gonna do a quick chain heal, bring everyone up. Like the fight's slowing down, most of the ads might be dead. that so what I would recommend here so you don't pull so much is when you jump off the ledge if you take the shortcut then you're gonna need to hit your parachute pretty close to when you hit the ground because if not you'll fly by everything and pull almost the entire dungeon so well not literally but figuratively speaking the entire dungeon so we're going to do some DPS. He seems to be staggering very well, so we're going to help out and see what we can do with some damage. Can I help you? All right. Turn in your quest. This is going to be over pretty quick, thank god. This is, I don't really like this dungeon that much. Probably one of my least favorite dungeons. And do some damage. Pretty easy pulls from here on out. Stay away from the edge over here so you don't over pull the stuff down there. And also, if the corners are really short, so it's easy to pull. So you kind of, I kind of shouldn't have went ahead there, but it happens. It's not a big. Deal. 
Try to do a little bit more damage, let your 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 tank stagger some of the damage he's taking. Cause you see, even though he's not in combat, his health is still going down. Well now he's in combat, but keep an eye on his health when the combat ends. When these two die, watch his HP, it'll continue going down because the way monks tank, they stagger the damage over time. And the more damage they stagger, the more it takes off in each anchor. If that makes sense at all. So let's see his health. I mean, it's bouncing back and forth. He drank a fortifying brew, it sounded like. So, that's good. That'll help out his stack. It's always good as a healer to know the other classes as well. Um, it helps you know how and what to heal with. It helps you understand what your tank is capable and not capable of doing. Throw a riptide. We're gonna start precasting a heal. Wait for our tank to move. These guys are non elites that stand by the plane, so they're pretty easy to kill. I mean, I can whack one, you know, I can hit one myself if I like. Like that. This guy. Like that. You know what I mean? Good what for? Anyway, catch up with your tank. Another Riptide. Now this is an elite, so we're gonna target him. We're only gonna DPS him. There's no point in trying to cast on a non-elite because it's gonna die before your cast gets off. Quick healing surge on your tank. See, we really need our chain lightning right now, but we don't have it yet. That's okay, we'll have it soon. There's an, an elite patrol, this guy, that walks through. It looks like our tank is going to pull all this. And I got a little gnome over here. And he taunted him, so that's good. He's a, this guy means business. That's a good thing. It's always fun to find someone that's kind of a nerd at the game as well. You know what I mean? So he has something we can dispel, so we're going to instantly hit our keybind to dispel that. Grab our loot. Now this is a boss up here. You can hug the wall to the left and not pull these ads down here. Uh, you go up this little ramp and... This guy has like a shocking AOE ability that will damage everyone. Electric justice. And then there's a parachute you can get here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab one of those if we can. Throw a dot on our boss. And throw our racial on him as well, chain bolt. So next time we see that, we're gonna try to interrupt that. If we can. Keep Riptides up on your tank, quick killing surges, let him stagger some of the damage he's taking. Reapply your dot, focus on bringing your tank back up near the end, because near the end he's staggering more damage. If that makes sense. The longer the fight carries on, the more damage he's going to start taking as a stagger. Check our loot. Alright, we got a ring. Yeah. Never go wrong with a ring. So we only have one, so this is going to be an addition. And not bad stats. Have your parachute ready. Now it's going to be different here. You're going to jump towards this little post right here. Um, you can hit it at any time. And I try to hit this wall and slide down like so. 
because if you fall off, you're going to take a lot of damage, like some of these guys did, and that's okay. You're a healer. You got this, no problem. Go ahead and keep Riptide up on your tank. Now, these guys will drop mines on the ground. If you get close to them, they will go off. So beware of that. Looks like they have an AOE ability that can put some kind of purse or something on you. He's staggering a lot of damage. Hopefully he's not letting the mines blow up on them. I would hope. I mean, if possible, it's possible. But that's what he's doing. And it looks... I don't see it coming up in the chat that the mine is armed, I think they said. Let's go ahead and do some quick heals, dispel our shaman. See that right there, landmine. will be armed in 10 seconds. I think he is taking off. He might be taking that damage, which is not its not a good thing to, to purposely eat damage for no reason. That's the mine right there. So we're gonna catch back up with him. We're gonna throw our Riptide. He's doing a big pool right now. He might actually die here. So we're gonna have to be careful. We're gonna drop our healing totem as well. And then put our racial on him. And we're gonna spam heal with healing soul. Dispel our warlock. We don't want anyone taking extra damage when we have to focus on him. Because he's going to start eating mine damage as well. So we're just going to spam our healing surge. Keep Riptide up at all times. Looks like the damage is slowing down. So, throw one of those. Another healing surge. like he went really far ahead but that's okay some people you get tanks like this sometimes that run really far ahead and when they die they make it seem like it's your fault but you just got to try to keep up especially as a shaman you have ghost wolf and so that helps out a lot we're gonna cast our big heal and then a couple of our small heals dispel our warlock Heals. Keep an eye on our Riptide, it's counting down. Precast the Healing Wave and Riptide. Fight should be nearing an end, and it is. Okay, we got one level, we might get our Chain Lightning, but we won't be able to use it. That's okay. I mean, really all the classes in our party could stay up with the tank or keep up with the tank. And in mostly in World of Warcraft now, all classes have a speed boost, no matter what it is. Like, for example, the Warlock has a tower, the Shaman has Ghost Wolf, the Mage has Blink. So really, you can move through dungeons pretty quick, especially with heirlooms now. The game is kind of turned into easy mode, in a way. And that's okay. I, for casual players, it's a great game. I'm not looking to raid in game you know, raids with three times a week at 11 o'clock at night for four hours. Those days are over. I'm too old for that. I just make healing guides now. Especially with all the new players that are hopefully going to come in during Shadowlands. So, yeah. Get everybody healed up. We're going to go in here and it's going to be the boss. The final boss is in this room. He has bombs that come from the edge of the room. So hopefully your party will stay moving and not 
get eaten by the bombs. We're about to pull ads. Those little robots will come around and alert nearby enemies to come and attack you. They'll sp they actually spawn here sometimes, but they didn't this time. Here's the final boss. He's pretty easy. You can hit the buttons to stop the bombs in the room, but we really don't now. You really don't have to worry about that. In classic, you do. You have to have someone going around and hitting the buttons that the bombs are coming out of, like that. And someone would go and hit that before it came out. But you don't have to do that anymore. Now you just kind of attack, and that's it. Here comes one bomb. Another bomb, I'm gonna leave him over here. My machine go ahead and do a little future. bit more damage to I'll the boss. You okay. Explosion! More explosion! When I he gets to like twenty percent, he goes to this phase where he asks for more bombs or whatever. You know, that one hit me and it took what, an eighth of my HP, so I think it's going to be okay. I could probably absorb the bombs. And that is the end of Nomer. Um, now your final quest turn in is kind of hidden. Let's see what kind of loot we, we get anything. He's going to be over here behind a pillar. I don't think I got the next quest. Uh, yeah, I didn't get the next quest. I missed getting it. I think. Wait. No, I didn't. I have it. Right? Wait. Yeah, I forgot to turn it in. Um, but that's okay. They, when you turn it in, you uh, you get the quest to kill this guy, and then when you kill him, you, you yeah, It'll, the final turn ends right here. But that's it for Nomer. I mean, it, this was a really quick run, and I'm I'm kind of glad it was a really quick run because this place is very 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 big. Um, there's multiple bosses. Uh, it goes on for it's four floors with you know a boss on the main floor, two bosses on the second floor, uh, you know the launch bay has a boss that we didn't go to, uh, and that's where the back door is as well, and the, the boss we just did. So but thank you for watching, and if you're not a subscriber, you can please hit the subscribe button and the like button. That'll help me out, and I'll really appreciate it. And if you made it this far, thank you. Um, we're going to go into our next dungeon will be, I want to say Scarlet Halls, uh, which is great. It's a great change from this dungeon. So that one will be coming out as soon as I can get it out, basically. But thanks for watching and have a good day.